Hello folks and welcome back to another Ironics Media video. And today I'm about to share with you six top things that you should consider when you're buying a laptop. If you're a business professional, a student or a teacher or any other person, this video is just for you. Now when buying laptops, the first thing you should ask yourself is, what are you going to do with it? You need to first of all identify the kind of person that you are. Are you a heavy computer user or are you those kind of people who just buy computers and just let them sit at your house so that you can only be using them to watch movies and maybe only times that are necessary. After identifying the purpose of buying this laptop, you can now go ahead and look at the budget that you have. Now laptops as with anything else can range in different prices. And most of the time, and please note that I've said most of the times and not all the times, the higher the price, the better the laptop. Now that statement is not always 100% true and that is why you should go ahead and look deeper into this laptop. You need to go ahead and start looking at the features and we are going to start with the most important one which is the processor. Now when it comes to buying laptops, there are two types of people. There are those who care about the processor and there's that category which doesn't know what a processor is. So just to make things simple, the processor is simply the brain of your computer. So it's very, very important to make sure that you find the one that is powerful enough to suit your needs. If you're the kind of person who just does basic things like word processing, doing uh, your normal spreadsheets, watching movies, browsing the internet and accessing social media, then you don't need a very expensive machine to do that work. Now laptop processors vary in a very wide range, but the ones that I'm going to mention right now is from Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, all the way to the latest, which is Core i9. Now based on how technology has currently evolved, I would highly recommend that if you are to go for a low processor, please make sure that your lowest processor is always a Core i3. I wouldn't recommend for you to go for an Intel dual processor or a Pentium processor because currently the applications that are being developed right now are so powerful and require very, very, very many specifications. Now, if you're a heavy, heavy computer user and maybe you do activities like gaming, video editing, programming and coding, then you need to go and look for a more powerful processor, say a Core i5, a Core i7, all the way to a Core i9. And please don't just look at the i values, go ahead and also consider asking the generation of this processor. And of course, the higher the generation, the better the processor it will be. For instance, the current latest generation as per the time of this recording is the 13th generation, that is according to Intel processors. Now, I may not be able to explain extensively more about processors, but if you'd like to know more about processors, all you need to do is just click on this video up here and it will explain more about it. The second thing you should consider is the RAM. Now simply, the more the RAM that you have on your device, the more activities or applications that you are going to load at the same time without hanging your laptop. Now most of the laptops nowadays come with at least 8 gigs of RAM and there are others which come with 4 gigs of RAM but if you intend on running so many multitasking activities I would highly recommend that you go for a laptop with 16 gigs of RAM and above. And speaking of memory, the next thing you should consider is the storage. When it comes to secondary storage, there are two main types. There's the hard disk drive and the SSDs. Now SSDs are much more faster when it comes to accessibility, but on the flip side, it's that they are more expensive than the hard disk drives. But the hard disk drives on the other hand tend to be a little bit slower and sometimes they are a little bit less durable than the SSDs. Now this will highly depend on the budget that you have. If you can afford it, I would highly recommend that you go for an SSD. And of course, the other factor remains constant. The higher the storage, 
the better. The other next important thing that you should consider is the battery life of this laptop. Now this is usually very very important if you plan on using your laptop on the go and most laptop nowadays especially the Dell and the Asus and the HP Pavilion usually go for eight hours. There are even others which can last even up to 12 hours but this again will highly depend on the kind of applications that you are using. Now if you plan to always carry your laptop most of the times then it's also good to also check on the weight and portability of a laptop. Now the good thing about the laptops that are being manufactured currently, they are being optimized in terms of lightness. Unlike the older versions of laptops which used to be very bulky and kind of looked like those computers that are used to by the military to launch missiles. Now after considering the weight of your laptop then it's also good to consider the display size of your laptop. It's always good to get a laptop which is comfortable with your eyes. Now most laptops come with a 15 inch display but if you're the kind of person who likes larger displays then you can opt to go ahead and buy a 17 inch display laptop. Now the other thing you can do is if you have a screen like this you can always use a HDMI cable or a display cable to connect your screen for more wider uh, display experience. Now there are a few other considerations that did not make on this list like for example the graphics card but if you'd like to know more about it you can click on this video up here. There's also the number of ports that the laptop has and of course the more number of ports it has the better and also it's sometimes important to check on the material that your laptop has been manufactured with if it's plastic or maybe a little bit of metal mostly for safety and durability purposes. Now mostly I usually tell my friends looking for a laptop or a PC is like looking for a wife. You don't just look at the beauty you need to go ahead and look at other features concerning that laptop. And that's all I have for you today folks. I hope this video has helped you guys and if it has make sure you give it a thumbs up Leave a comment if you have any question or any other additional points that you'd like a friend to know when buying a laptop. And also remember to click that button down there. You see that red button? Yeah, that's for you to go ahead and subscribe so that you may not miss any of my future videos. It's been Ironics Media and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.